Today's video is all about Colleen Hoover. I'm going to do a book review of the six Colleen Hoover books that I read this summer. I've got one of them on my Kindle. That's why I'm not holding the paperback. But I'm obsessed with Colleen Hoover and I'm going to go through each of the books and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you my review. I promise I will not spill any secrets. I will not spoil any of the books for you, but I want you to read Colleen Hoover. I want you to love this author as much as I do. So sit back, grab a cup of tea, and let's just review Colleen Hoover. While I was reading this book, my daughter had ordered more Colleen Hoover books, and we're just going to get into all of them. Verity, this is what got me started on Colleen Hoover. We're going to talk about It Ends With Us, Reminders of Him, November 9, All Your Perfects, and Ugly Love, which is on my Kindle. So I hope you all are ready for that. Let's get to it. So before I get into the first book, let me give you a little bit of information about how I like to read and what I like to read. So that may have some bearing on my review. I absolutely love to read. I have loved to read since I was a little girl and I love the actual book. I wanna hold the book. I love to go in the library and just stand there and look around. It's so peaceful. I love the smell of the old books in the library. I want to hold a book. Yes, I showed you that I have a Kindle, but I really only use this when I travel because it got to the point that I was literally taking stacks of books with me when we would go on vacation and it just, you know, I couldn't keep doing that. So I did get a Kindle. I use it for travel. But as far as what I like to read, I like all sorts of things. I don't like science fiction. I don't like history-based novels. And I don't love sappy romance novels. So that being said, I will read just about any author. I'm not concerned with what novels are newly released. I don't care what's on the bestsellers list. And that's probably why I had never heard of Colleen Hoover until this summer. My daughter was home from college for the summer and all of a sudden ordered this book on my Amazon account. And I said, you don't like to read. This is a girl who hates to read. But she told me that all of her friends were talking about this book called Verity by Colleen Hoover and she wanted to read it. And it was summertime, so why not? So she ordered this book. She was obsessed. She kept coming to me saying, Mom, you've got to read this book. And I'm like, what is the big deal about Hello, Pollux. What What's the big deal about the book? She's like, I can't tell you. I can't tell you, but you've just got to read this book. So the minute she was finished with Verity, she handed it over to me. O-M-G. Okay, so all the dogs are just going to come up here. Yes, everybody's here. I've told you all about this book before. I did a little snippet of a review about it in another video. A lot of you all ordered it. The majority of you all <laughs> said that you loved Verity. A few of you said, whoa, this was not the book I was expecting. And I warned you, it, it, it is a psychological thriller. It is very sexual. It is shocking. It is disturbing. And this is the first book I ever read from Colleen Hoover. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but I want to read you the very first sentence Y'all see what I'm dealing with here? So the very first sentence on the very first page of chapter one reads, I hear the crack of his skull before the splattering of blood reaches me. That is the very first sentence of the book. What I have come to learn about Colleen Hoover is she doesn't take the first chapter to set the tone or kind of give you the lay of the land and so you become familiar with who is who. She jumps into the story that minute. Literally on page one, Colleen is into the story. And Verity hit me over the head on page one. So many crazy, startling, and a little bit gruesome things happened just on the very first page. But I was hooked. I'm like, what in the world am I reading? Who is this woman, Colleen Hoover and Verity? What does that even mean? What have I gotten myself into? So I was outside by the pool reading this book. After I read page one, I closed the book and I went upstairs to my daughter and said, what did you give me? This is not the kind of book that I like to read. You know that. And she just laughed and said, just keep reading it. Keep reading it. I promise mom, just keep reading it. So I did. I can't say anything else about this. I felt like anything that I could say about this book would give away the plot line. And I don't want to do that. I will just tell you that Verity is full of 
twists and turns. Shocking. It is disgusting. It is, but there were times that I would read something and have to close the book and, and I just had to put the book down. Some of the things that happen in the story are so, I guess the word is disturbing because the story is about a woman. She's a mother and some of the things that she thinks about um, and when you're talking, I can't say anything. Uh, I just, it's disturbing. It's disturbing, but it is suspenseful. It is a page turner. There are so many plot twists and you don't see them coming either. You're reading along and boom, the story just takes off somewhere else or something else explodes like in the storyline and you're like, whoa. And I was just captivated by this book. When I got to the end, I got to say, I was completely in shock. I cannot believe what happened. I still don't know that I believe what happened. Verity leaves you on the edge of your seat and it leaves you questioning the story itself, the author, the main lady that the story is written about, her husband, her kids, like all the things. You just really don't know if this even really happened. You just don't know what to believe. I was glued to the pages. I know a lot of you all said, oh, I couldn't do it, couldn't do it, and didn't like the book. But if you think that you can get through it, and I promise you that you can, because I'm not somebody that likes blood and guts and gore, and that's really not what this is. When I say disgusting, it's more her actions were disgusting to me, not the content. Like, we're not talking about, yes, I know, page one talks about his skull cracking open and blood, but that's really the only gory stuff. Verity is full of lots of sexual content. And I know the Colleen Hoover books, there is sexual content in pretty much every story I've read. But the sexual content and the sexual scenes and the things that happen in Verity are, they're up there. So this is not a story that you would want your teenage daughter or teenage son to read. I would say this is definitely my daughter's 20 and she read it. And I was okay with that. But just be forewarned, there is a lot of sexual stuff in this book. But it is really a fantastic book. This is what got me started on Colleen Hoover. And while I was reading this book, my daughter had ordered more Colleen Hoover books. And on October the 18th, the sequel to It Ends With Us called It Starts With Us is being released. So you can go on Amazon, you can place the pre-order for your book, you can download it to your Kindle on October the 18th, or you can get it at any bookstore. So this is perfect timing to talk about It Ends With Us. This is the second book that I read from Colleen Hoover. It's a page turner. It's a love story. It is a drama. There are so many things that happen and ends with us. It is nothing like Verity. Verity was on its own level, but it ends with us is on another level that's equally as good. It's just not at, well, it is shocking. There are some shocking things that happen in this book. I can recall two specific chapters in this book or actual things that happened. And I was reading along and, and just could not believe what happened. I could not believe what happened. And I had to close the book and go talk to my daughter about it. Or my husband would be outside with me. We'd be in the pool and I'd be reading and he'd go, you know, and I'd gasp and he'd say, what, what happened? Again, a page turner, a shocker, so many plot twists. It ends with us is the story of Lily, whose past and present collide. And that's really all I can say. And <laughs> she's, She's caught in the middle. It is a love story. It's a drama. Twist and turns. It is so well written. And Colleen Hoover is a master of having her stories being told by different characters in the book. So different chapters go back and point their point of view from different characters. And it's fascinating the way she does this. Some of her books, the characters are thinking forward. Other books, the characters are thinking in their past. Other books, you've got one character thinking forward and another character thinking in the past. It's, it's crazy the way that she looks at things from different characters' points of view and it all kind of works together and spins the story and when a plot twists, they all twist with her and she's just a fascinating author. Verity and It Ends With Us, 
think might be my two favorite books, but it's so hard to compare them to say one is better than the other because they're completely different, but yet both fascinating. And I cannot wait for the sequel, It Starts With Us, to come out on October the 18th. I will have it in my hand and I will let you know what I think. Next, I read All Your Perfects. And I'm going to explain these books to you in the order that I read them because I don't really have a favorite. But I did read All Your Perfects next. And this was probably my least favorite of the novels that I've read by Colleen Hoover. It's the story of Quinn who meets the love of her life, or so she thinks. The story for me was good but I kept waiting for that typical Colleen Hoover twist or something crazy to happen or the story to turn. And this one was just a little flat for me. It didn't have the ups and downs and the excitement. Although it was a good book, I think this was my least favorite so far. And then I read November 9. Oh me, I loved this book. Absolutely loved this book. This is the story of a teenage girl named Fallon. And the story starts off, she's meeting her father in a restaurant for a meal. And it took me a while to figure out who is the story really about? Is it about the dad? Is it about the girl? Is it about someone that she meets? And it's all of the above. It is all of the things, but they're all telling their own stories, but then all their individual stories come together in one and merge into this bigger story that you just, you just cannot believe what happened. And the day, November 9, has a huge significance in Fallon's life. And turns out it is a very significant day in lots of people's lives. They just don't know that about each other. But it was a fascinating book. It's a story that's easy to read. It's full of teenage love, um, but it's also full of heartbreak. There's tragedy. There's drama. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. This is the only Colleen Hoover book that made me cry. Well, no, that's not true. That's not true. I cried in reminders of him too, but this one made me tear up. There is a huge plot twist that I did not see coming. I absolutely hit me over the head when whatever happened happened. And this book was so great. I could not put it down. So I was in the pool reading this book and I had to go to work and I had like three chapters left. And so the next day I told my husband, don't come outside. Don't talk to me. Give me 30 minutes. I have got to see what happens on November 9. Like I, I have to know, just don't talk to me. And it was a fantastic, fascinating, exciting love story with so many people involved in this story and all of their lives and how they twist and turn into each other. And it's a great book, November 9. Reminders of Him is a story about a young woman named Kenna who was just released from five years in prison because of a very misfortunate thing that happened in her life. She's trying to rebuild her life and she is trying to rebuild a relationship with someone that was in her life before she went to prison. And the story is about her hitting obstacles while she's trying to rebuild these relationships, but she's also building new relationships at the same time. And then some things happen. Some things go down that really take a turn in the story. And at the end of this book, I was bawling, crying. The last chapter, I was weeping like a baby, but it is such a good read. It's very interesting. All of the things that happened to Kenna in the book and to all of the people that she encounters in her path to try to restore these relationships, I could so relate to the way that Kenna felt. I could sympathize with her, but I could also sympathize with the other people. I could understand why they were treating her the way that they did. But when you find out the backstory of what really happened in the tragedy that, that landed her in prison for five years, it makes you change your mind. It makes the way that you thought about her throughout this entire book completely reverse itself and then the story takes on a different life and it has an ending that just truly warmed my heart and made me cry. 
a sappy, sappy, bawling, I was outside in the pool, crying, cry. Definitely, you should read Reminders of Him. So, the day that I finished Reminders of Him, I just needed something to read. Like, I was obsessed with Colleen Hoover, and I couldn't imagine my week with no book in my hand. And so, I didn't have time to go to a bookstore. My daughter had already gone back to college, and we didn't have any more books in the house that I hadn't read. So, I decided to download a book on my Kindle, and I chose Ugly Love. Ugly Love is the story of a girl named Tate who is changing jobs and moving to a new city. She doesn't know anybody, and she decides to move in with her brother, who is an airline pilot, and he's never home, and he has room in his apartment, so she's going to stay with him until she gets settled in her new job and gets her own apartment. So, page one of Ugly Love is Tate arriving in her brother's apartment building to move in, and the minute she opens the door, she encounters somebody who will change her life, and at first, you don't realize that this person is going to change your life. You think that this person is just a no good whatever, but she becomes intrigued with this person, and this person becomes intrigued with her, and they form this very odd, distant, standoffish relationship, but yet they're, they can't stop thinking about each other, and it just goes from there. So, you have Tate, you have this person, you have her brother, you have somebody else who lives in the building, which is constantly part of the story, but you just really don't know until the end of the book how they're part of the story. And that is what I love about Colleen Hoover. She can take all of these characters and just mesh them all together, but you don't realize that she's doing that until the point in the book where Colleen Hoover wants you to know why they're all meshed together. The way Colleen Hoover writes hooks me in. It sucks me in. I cannot get away from her books. But the book, Ugly Love, I was drawn in from the beginning. I kept thinking, what is this person doing? And why are they doing that? And why is she reacting that way to it? It's just the, the emotions of the characters in the book didn't fit the um, idea that I had created of the characters in the book. So, I had a really hard time in my head having it all make sense to me, but then some things happened that cleared it up a little bit better, and I thought, okay, all right, now I'm starting to understand, and then more things happened, and I definitely could see why Tate was so intrigued with this other person, and then when the other person reveals why he, she, it, I'm not going to say, is intrigued with Tate. I'm like, okay, okay, the, I, I, this is all coming together for me now. And the once all of the light bulbs went on in my brain about the story, and the story just took on its own life, and Tate and the other characters take a journey together. It is a very odd and sort of twisted version of a love story that has lots of characters involved, and one of the characters is constantly thinking backwards. There are a lot of chapters where there's a character named Miles. He is thinking back to what was, and so him thinking backwards and Tate being in the present, and the story just twist itself all together at one point, and it all makes perfect sense. It was a great book, a great love story. It all comes together in the very last chapter. Basically, in the last couple of pages, it all comes together. So, in all, I gotta say, I loved all of these Colleen Hoover books. All Your Perfects was my least favorite. If you've run out of stuff to read, this was still a decent book. It just was a little slow and didn't come together like the rest of these. But if you're a reader, if you love to read like I do, check out all the Colleen Hoover books and definitely read It Ends With Us so that you can read the sequel, It Starts With Us, that comes out on October the 18th. I will put links in the description box below this video to all of the books that I reviewed, and I'm sorry I couldn't give more detail about the books, but the way that Colleen Hoover writes, it's so hard for me to give you specifics without revealing things in the story, and I did not want to ruin the story for you. I want you to read them. I want you to enjoy the journey of the story itself. They're all great novels, and I am 
absolutely now a fan of Colleen Hoover. And apparently she has so many more books out that I have got to read. I'm headed to the beach pretty soon and I'm gonna stock up Colleen Hoover on my Kindle and just read till my heart's content with my toes in the sand. See you later.